Major news to start your Monday morning as Janet Yellen is officially announced as the new Treasury Secretary for Joe Biden. And her first item of business is to get Joe Biden out of this bind. The bind is no stimulus. And this is amid a new report that says that Mitch McConnell and the GOP will put stimulus into the continuing resolution. The CR, the federal budget bill, which has a deadline for December 11th. This means, if this report is true, that you could see stimulus getting passed, potentially, on December 11th, 10 days thereafter, in your account. Incredible progress on your stimulus. Meantime, Black Friday and now Cyber Monday sales are expected to be updated today, and they're not expected to be good, causing Wall Street to say, send out the stimulus elsewhere. $2,400 if you're on SSI and SSDI and Social Security and real world benefits. That will still be coming. More about those details. And finally, big grants. Big money. $2,400? No. $5,000? $10,000? As much as $20,000. Money across the board is being gotten by the viewers and there's no less than about 16 days of this money left. You're going to get it in this recording. I'm so glad you joined me for Monday's Holidays, no, Mondays, mornings, LA Light. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning, and you made it through the weekend. Did you crush the weekend? Time to crush the Monday, because today we're going to have big developments across the board for your stimulus. There's so many things hitting, and the big one is this December 11th timeline to get stimulus out. Boy, I'm excited. I don't know about you, but if you've not subscribed, please do, because I am getting viewers money not five days from now, not five months from now, not five years from now, but right now. This is not $500 or $200 or $100. This, in some cases, is $5,000, $10,000, $15,000, $20,000. And not just one route, three routes in all different ways. Money you can qualify for across the board. And I ensure that, you, that I want you to get this money. And I have no less than nine volunteers helping you get you this money around the clock. So please subscribe because no one is fighting to get you this money right now. I'll go over the money in this recording. Also, like the video. It helps in the rankings. In today's video, I have a lot of stuff to go over that's breaking in the last few hours. First, Janet Yellen was just announced as a new Treasury Secretary pick by President-elect Joe Biden. Then, new ec economic team members will be announced today throughout the day by Joe Biden. But Janet Yellen's first item of business is getting stimulus out. Getting the stimulus out amidst the concern that there's been too much wrangling over language for months. Then, the shocking development. Stimulus by December 11th, a new deadline suddenly hitting. This is incredibly shocking news. A new potential deadline that says that the stimulus will be in a CR bill that has a December 11th deadline, and this will be the bridge stimulus that you really need, UI, PUA, FPUC, and stimulus checks. Finally, money you're gonna get in, this in your account. More of that as well. As well. Let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news as you sit here today is that the exciting, shocking, big developments today is this new December 11th deadline to get stimulus out by floating it into a non-stimulus bill. The bill is called the Continuing Resolution. It's a bill done every few months. It's a bill that funds the federal government, and it's called the CR to stand for Continuing Resolution. On Sunday, the Purple Power and myself launched a new campaign. I said it on evening's check. The new campaign to push, push, push is hashtag CR, the number four, stimulus. You should be already taking this video and tagging McConnell and his communications director with this video saying CR for stimulus. 
You want to urge McConnell to put stimulus in the continuing resolution because that's what the article says he wants to do. Whether or not the article is true or correct, what's important to understand is you want him to do it. And I'm going to tell you right now why. First, this is the ultimate bargaining, bargaining opportunity. It basically says, give me exactly what I want to put in the CR or I'm shutting down the federal government. And guess what, Nancy Pelosi? You're not going to get your check. <laughs> Sound familiar? Yeah, it should. For the first time, you can use the inability of Nancy Pelosi to give you a stimulus check as a way to cut off her check. Very, very attractive. And how do you do it? Well, there's a different series of different ways. First, you're going to urge Mitch McConnell to repurpose that CARES Act 1 money, that $800 billion of sitting at SBA as a $5,000 stimulus check, send it right out and put it into the CR. Or you could just argue the provisions that the news article says that Mitch McConnell would put in the CR. They are stimulus check, one stimulus check, then FPUC, UI, PUA, and mortgage, aver mortgage protection, eviction moratorium, and student loan repayment. More about all those deal provisions in a second. The idea that the article delineates is the following. A CR bill starts in either the Senate or the House. In this case, it could start in the Senate. It could have in their stimulus, not the entire universe of stimulus we're talking about for second stimulus, but emergency stimulus. Stimulus is needed between now and the middle of January. And by putting it in the CR, it would get you through this horrible next few weeks in which everything is expiring. This is incredible great news. Now, what's important to understand is that some things would not be in the CR. The SSI, $2,400 SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits really needs a pretty standalone bill. I'm going to explain that shortly right now. Most economists and myself believe the SSI, SSDI money is a standalone bill because it's Social Security benefits. Republicans and Democrats want it as a standalone bill. They don't want it as a stimulus package because it's not stimulus. It would start with a $200 a month, every month, from now to December of next year, upwards of $4,000 in your bank account, bam. Then, up to a 20% increase a lifetime, it would be a one-time increase. Someone asked me overnight, when would that increase kick in as soon as the bill passes? So you would immediately have a tw up to a 20% increase. So you go for $1,000 to $1,200 lifetime. Then every year you would have a new evaluator that would look at your benefits and step them up based upon a new indicator that is not COLA. I call it a benchmark. This is incredible. So you would have step-ups every year. But all that would likely be in a separate bill. So now let's turn to the big issue, which is, okay, so what could get done by December 11th? Could we have checks by the holidays? Yes, says the report. Let me explain the timeline first, and I'll go to the details. The timeline is the following, that the if the bill is passed by December 11th, it takes 10 days to receive the checks electronically if you are say, signed up for electronic payments for SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Railroad Benefits, or if you pay your taxes with the IRS and they have an electronic bank account on fire, file, or you did a non-file or filing in the spring and gave them an electronic account then. So 10 days from December 11th is December 21st. Yes, you've done the math with me on air. Larry Cudlow couldn't help you with that. Uh, but... Understand the following, and this is good news, is that most CRs are not done the, 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 the last day that they expire. They're done in advance. They're done over a week or two weeks in advance, meaning starting this week. Hello, what are we waiting around for? So if they did it in the CR this week, which is, you know, tomorrow's December 1st, that would mean December 11th. Incredible great news. Now let's get to the deal items. And this is what the article's reporting. A stimulus check, one stimulus check. Okay, why is it just one stimulus check? Because this is an emergency bill to get you from now to January. Uh, now, you can certainly push the microscope or push the goalposts wherever you want to push them because this is the purple power. So if you think that the CR should have multiple stimulus checks, you could certainly tag Mnuchin with that and McConnell. But I think that the, the louder thing should be just get everything in there that we really need right now.
Uh, you could certainly talk about the $800 billion of CARES Act 1, and one viewer had a really good comment on Pearl Power Live last night, which is, when is that $800 billion of CARES Act 1 going to disappear? It could disappear any moment. It could be called in by Steve Mnuchin at any moment, but I believe it's going to get called in around when the CR is dead, deadline hits, around December 14th, December 11th. So you sort of want, you really want them to repurpose that CARES Act 1 money because we may no longer be able to say repurpose CARES Act 1 money come mid-December. It's as simple as that. Next, um, the other items, unemployment assistance, UI, which is create which created additional which got additional weeks of benefits under the CARES Act one called FPEUC. FPUC gave you additional weeks of unemployment assistance under federal law under the CARES Act one. Those additional weeks are expiring in late December and in some states have already expired. So come January first, no unemployment benefits anywhere. Anywhere uh, if you went on unemployment when the pandemic first hit unless one situation has occurred. Your state has given additional weeks of benefits in the last few days. In the case of Hawaii and in the case of New Mexico, they just announced additional weeks because they see Congress is lagging, not taking care of this. Next, PUA, Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, which was created under CARES Act 1 for independent contractors, but then became a benefit for people running out of U weeks, UI weeks. They put them on the PUA. Well, guess what? PUA is expiring in just a few days as well. That would also be extended under this CR, Continuing Resolution Bill, this budget bill, additional weeks of PUA. So PUA would not expire in, uh, in late December. Third, eviction moratorium continued. So it would also protect you into January from eviction. Mortgage protection continued into January. Student loan repayment continued into January. Uh, the, uh, moratorium on repayment continued into January. All these things are really important. This is really exciting news. Ultimately, Nancy Pelosi really has no bargaining tools to really say, I'm not taking it, because her alternative for the first time is, a, is, is, is cataclysmic the shutdown of the U.S. government. And I got to tell you, I know you and I are thinking the same thing on this, because I mentioned last night, which is we've heard about deadlines before, and every time there was a deadline, they sort of ignored it. Yeah, but those deadlines didn't fall, did not involve their check. This time it does. Airlines, uh, their deadline did involve Congress getting a check. July, when FPUC expired, did involve Congress getting their check. This is involving Congress shutting down. Finally, has this been done before? Yes, it was done in the last CR. Nancy Pelosi put in stimulus into the last CR for the cows, for the farmers. No joke. That's why the casino is the, what it is today. And so for her to potentially come in today and say, I'm not putting stimulus in, in, a, in a CR. It doesn't belong in a CR. You did it last time, honey. <laughs> Don't be saying that. We're not gonna. We're not gonna buy that narrative. All right. So then, the big news as you sit here this morning is the free money, free money. And I need to make this very clear to you. And I think I've now done it. That the viewers of this channel have done an incredible job, and you need to keep on pushing. And I know you're gonna get this money as well. After a few days of viewers seeing other viewers get. 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars, then the universe of, this, of the viewers on this channel understood they need to get the money. There's no longer a question of what it is. There's now a question of how quickly can I get it. Viewers have gotten upwards of three hundred thousand dollars on this channel because of this money. Uh, I have gotten viewers now three hundred up, up, upwards of three hundred thousand dollars because of these recordings of CARES Act One money, escalated benefits in EIDL, and that goes on top of the five to twenty-five million dollars in EIDL, which I got viewers back in April, May, and June. Let's get to these details. CARES Act. There's three ways. First, CARES Act 1 grants. This is grants from the first stimulus package. These CARES Act 1 grants are available in your city, your county, and your state. It's a city hall, city hall, state, excuse me, county hall, and your state housing authority. Don't call anyone out, anyone else. You're going to be focusing on rent assistance. Rent assistance. Next, you're going to be focusing on utility assistance. And third, you're going to be focusing on food assistance. What 
is this money. It's basically money that covers your rent from either one month, three months, or generally six to 12 months. Most viewers have gotten six to 12 months, and it's all across the board. The volunteers of this channel know that there's certain private charities, religious charities, and national action groups that are also paying your rent. They have that data for you if you go to your city, county, and state and get an impasse and can't find anything. Next, uh, utility grants. Your utility companies are doing incredible grants, whether it's water, whether it's water, electric, heating oil, heat, gas, they're doing these grants as well. It's called utility grants. And so you call or utility assistants, you call them up and say, hey, do you have any utility assistance? I'm having problems with making my bills. Third, food. Food is being paid all over the place. So the hierarchy starts with rent, then utilities, which is 99% of all utility companies are doing utility assistance. And then next is food, which is almost 100% across the board. You can get this money. If you have any problems getting this money after you look, reach out to the volunteers. I have now nine volunteers at youtube.com forward slash LLA forward slash community. They're being updated every day. I'm posting them throughout the day with the tag volunteers in the community page. Next, Escalade benefits. Boy, this has been a big hit. I'm so excited for my Escalade employee, Escalade um, viewers. It's very simple. If you made thirty thousand dollars a year, if you made twenty five thousand dollars a year, in fact, if you made anything more than eighteen one eight thousand dollars a year, eighteen thousand dollars a year in two thousand nineteen, you need to be doing this. And how much money can you get? A lot. Is it retroactive? Absolutely. So if you've been on a, on a if you have been on unemployment since February, that's about 30 weeks. And if you, and here's how much money you're going to get in Escalade benefits generally. If you made over 30,000 in 2019, you will get about $9,000 retroactive. Bam, right in your account. If you made over $20,000 in, $25,000 approximately, 2019, you'll get about 3,000, bam, right in your account retroactively. And if you made over about 18,000 with less than 25,000, you'll get about $1,500, bam, right in your account retroactively. It's so simple. The simplest thing that uh, that I could possibly cover on this channel. <laughs> I've been covering on this channel every single day since April 25th. Oh my God, seven month anniversary just a few days ago. And this recording I've made a thousand times and I've, I have, I've helped tens of thousands of people with this. The way you do it is you get your 2019 tax return. You scan it, you put it in your computer, you take a picture of it, however you digitally can put it in your computer. Then you write a letter to your unemployment department and say, hi, here I am. Hello, nice to meet you. Uh, my 2019 tax return is attached. In 2019, I made $31,000. I'm currently being paid $100 a week for unemployment assistance. Please see if I qualify for more weekly benefits. Very simple. Please see if I qualify for more weekly benefits. Thank you. Here's my phone number. End of the thing. Send it out. Electronic or upload on their website. Fastest way you can do it. Then the next day, call them. The day after that, call them. The day after that, keep on calling them. Don't stop calling them until you get it approved. It's as simple as that. Hound them, and you'll get the money. Viewers generally get the money within 24 hours to 48 hours if they get them on the phone, and they get it processed that quickly. And they're getting ten, nine, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. Then let's go to EIDL. That's SBA.gov. Very, very simple. If you're an Uber, Grubhub, Airbnb, any of those type of side hustle, independent contractor, anything like that, plumber, electrician, and you had a Schedule C, you had a Schedule C 2019 tax return, and you declared your income, you go on to SBA.gov and apply for an economic injury disaster. It's very simple. It's the only thing covered in this video that is a lending instrument. There is nothing due for the first year, and after that, you have 30 years to pay it back. So if you get a $5,000 EIDL, it's like $5 a year for 30 years. That's like, you know, why would you not get it? Uh, there's only two steps to do it. One, go and... Pull your Experian Vantage 3.0 score and ensure that's 570 or higher. If it's not, do an Experian.com forward slash boost, which raises your score about 25 points for free. And also call up Experian and get adverse entries removed off of there, which takes about one to two days. But if you're at 570, get ready and go. What you, when you fill out your application, if you are filling it out as an individual, as a Schedule C person, 
then the name of the business is your name. The, the, the uh, uh, business's ID number is your social security number. The address is your home address. The account number is your personal checking account or, business, or savings account. And then the income is the, your Schedule C line one and your cost of goods is good sold is your Schedule C line two. If it is an LLC or if it is a corporation, then it's the name of the LLC. Do not make a mistake on spelling or changing the font or changing the capitalization. This, the business is EIN, the business is uh, business account, bank account, uh, the business is address, and the business is line one and line two of its return. Very simple. If you have questions or comments in today's video, drop them in the comments below, and I might feature them in tomorrow's recording. Join me at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time for holidays, LA. Big developments across the board on that. Don't miss that midday recording, which gives you the update about what's going on with stimulus in the middle of the day. You don't want to miss that. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay focused, and save my life for more.